iOS 16 has brought a lot of changes to the table and lock screen customization is one of them. In fact, I would say it is one of the most interesting feature of iOS 16. Now you can use multiple lock screens, select wallpapers from various categories, link wallpaper to a dedicated focus mode and tweak the overall lock screen according to your personality. So if you want to personalize your iOS lock screen, just make sure you watch this video till the end. Even though a lot of great features from iOS 16 are already here, but still one feature that is live activities will be rolled out later this year. So firstly, I'll tell you how to create a new lock screen. After you unlock your device using the face ID or passcode, just long press on the lock screen or alternatively, you can also unlock your device, swipe from up to bottom to open notification tray. Now just long press anywhere on the screen. And now this is where you'll notice all your lock screens will appear. You can swipe among them to change from one to another and you can create as many lock screens as you want. If you want to delete a lock screen, just swipe up the lock screen and tap on delete icon. To customize the existing lock screen, just press on customize button. But to create a new lock screen, just press on plus icon. You'll then be asked to select a new wallpaper. This is where the fun part begins. iOS 16 has a huge variety of wallpapers and you can select any one that you like. You can obviously choose from photos or you can choose an emoji to make a wallpaper out of it. You also get option to select a weather wallpaper that looks minimal and soothing to me. Or you can also get access to one of the most loved wallpaper collection, Astronomy. Inside it, you get Earth, Moon and Solar System. Just explore this wallpaper page according to your preference and you'll definitely find great options. For this tutorial, I'll go with this wallpaper of me posing like Raju. So once you tap on the wallpaper, as you can see, the device has automatically picked up a photo layering depth effect. You do get this on iPhones that have 812 Bionic or later chip, which means iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 won't be getting depth effect feature. Sad story. And if your device supports it, but you're not happy with it, just tap on this three dots and tap on depth effect to disable it. Next thing that you can do is just swipe to get cool filters on your photo. But the one that I like the most is studio lighting. But things are just getting started. Further, you can tap on these widgets to change them. Now, first of all, you can tap on this widget and replace it with any one that you want. You can replace the date with calendar, clock, fitness, reminder, stock, or even weather. Next step is clock. And when you'll tap on it, it'll show you various options. You'll get options to change font, and you can choose between these eight options. But that's not it. You can change the color of this clock as well. If you want a specific color of the clock, you can scroll to the end and tap on this circle that has mix of colors. And then in slider, you can write the exact hex code of the color and it will be applied to the clock. Or if you want a specific color from the wallpaper, you can do that by using color picker on the left. You can tap on this globe icon to switch between different languages you will get default options depending upon your region. In India, you get three options, Arabic, Arabic Indic, and Dilmaz. Next customization that you get is widgets, and it has a lot of options. In fact, a lot of third-party developers, including Google, are already working on creating widgets that will help us customize our lock screen in a much better way. And when you tap on it, you will be able to choose between these options. Just select the ones that you like according to your preference and then tap on this close icon to close this tray. When you're happy with the customizations that you've made, tap on done. Next up, you'll be asked to make changes to the home screen. So if you want the same image as the wallpaper with slight tweaks, just tap on set as wallpaper. But if you want some additional customizations, then tap on customize home screen. Now you'll be taken to this new screen where you'll be able to make changes to the home screen. You can set the original picture choose a color or maybe a gradient or even a different photo from your photos app. You also get a new option to turn on blur on the home screen if you want. When satisfied with the masterpiece you've created, just tap on done. And that's how you can create a new lock screen on your iOS 16 device. On this new lock screen, you'll get notifications towards the bottom. And to me, it looks cool because they are now a little more reachable. If you want, you can link these lock screens to focus mode for even more flexibility. To do that, just go to settings focus, tap on any focus mode and then tap on lock screen. Now choose which lock screen or multiple lock screens that you want to link with a particular focus mode and then tap on done. And voila, your lock screen and home screen setups will change according to the focus mode that's turned on. So what are your thoughts about it? Do let me know in the comments down below. And if you have been watching this video till this point, just make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the app store. This is me, Ash signing off and I'll see you in the next one.